everyone and welcome back to uh, another video. Um, I'm kind of not going to beat around the bush with this one because you guys will have seen the the caption, the caption, the title of the video. Um, so you'll know what this is kind of about um, and I just kind of want to just go straight into it because it's kind of like a serious topic so I don't want to make it all light and fluffy at the beginning and then just be like serious stuff. So there's a few reasons that I wanted to make this video. Hopefully it won't go on for too long. Um, but there's kind of like three main reasons and like the first one is that I just kind of wanted to make you guys aware of what was going on with me or at least some part of it. Um, Cause it probably will leak into other videos a little bit. Um, not in terms of me talking about it all the time, but just little things. Um, will probably pop up in other videos so I just wanted to make you guys aware from that. Um, second thing is kind of I just want to talk about it. I don't really have many people in my life who I can talk about with it um, apart from a handful so I just kind of want to talk it through with you guys and the third one which is the main main reason that kind of made me actually decide to do the video is um, because I just don't want anyone to feel like they're the only one that's going through this. I don't want anyone to feel alone and I don't want anyone to look at other people and feel like oh well everybody else is doing fine so why aren't I? Because um, I think a lot of people I've seen on social media are making light of how their situation is and making it seem like it's amazing and they're being really productive and there's nothing bad going on um, and I know I kind of feel a little bit like I'm literally the only one that this is happening to. But I don't want anyone to feel like that in terms of just in general or in lockdown or anything like that. So kind of that's the main reason um, I wanted to do it. So this video is kind of mainly focusing on how I've been with lockdown, but also my relationship with food. I just want to well, the motorbike's not being very sensitive. The first thing I kind of want to say is this might trigger people in terms of if you have um previous bad relationships with food i'm not going to pretend and act like i know what triggers people because everybody is completely different but i am going to be talking about relationships with food and not good behaviors with food so if that's something that you don't like to um subject yourself to maybe don't watch this video um i'll put like a little TLDR in the description box maybe so if you just want to be aware of what's going on but don't want to hear about it um, I'll put that down there but yeah I kind of I don't know where to start let's start with the um, food thing maybe so I think I've mentioned it a little bit in other videos but I have been struggling a lot with my eating for quite a while Um, it kind of the worst point it got to was I want to say like a month before I had my photo shoot so probably September time um, and I think that's when it all kind of kicked off badly but I've always had this like I've always had issues with food I have something else going on in my life that I'm not I don't not that I'm not prepared to talk about it but I don't want to talk about it yet because things haven't happened yet and I don't want to jump the gun essentially with what it is but there's other things in my life that I think have a really direct effect on my eating so I've always had issues with food I struggle with portion control in terms of I don't know when I'm full so I just keep eating and eating and eating and I've I, I don't know what it is like when I was younger I used to always feel sick with food and then it's kind of gone the other way that I like I, I can't stop eating but I kind of feel like I'm bitten around the bush. The, I may as well just talk about like the issues that I actually have with food. Um, so it's not just food, it's kind of self image as well and seeing myself for how I am. So the when it was my photo shoot, when I was on the end of my last cut, I was basically on way too less, way too low of calories than I should have been on. And I know a lot of people in the fitness industry would probably be like, you're probably just not tracking properly. I tracked every single thing that touched my mouth. I think the only thing I didn't track was one calorie, um, like oil spray. Um, 
and even then like I only use like four sprays per thing I eat so I was eating way too low calories you guys will have seen my video where I did 1300 calories a day of eating that's what I was on and keep in mind that is also with um weight session I was training five times a week was it five or six five times a week one day I did cardio and every single day I was trying to hit 12,000 steps of just steps I don't know why I said steps off I, I was trying to hit 12,000 steps as well at the same time so at the time I thought that was what was I was meant to be doing because that's the only thing that was making me lose weight basically long story cut short I fucked my body up I went on too low calories too soon and then my body got used to that and then I had to keep I shouldn't I shouldn't have been on that though I shouldn't have let my body tell me that I needed that amount of calories I should have just stopped the cut and made my body healthy again but because I think I was on so calories so low calories my body just kind of started to decline a little bit like it wasn't lean as much as it, I wanted it to be but in terms of its functioning and my brain functioning I just I was down all the time I didn't want to eat because I, I, I didn't want to go over my calories like I was obsessed with not going over my calories um, but at that time I didn't really see it as a problem because I was losing weight, I was on a cut, I was doing a photo shoot that, is, that was what I was after really and when people were telling me that I needed to eat more I was just like well no you don't know my body like this is what I need um, so the issues didn't really start for me in my head then but I think that's when it started when I looked, looked back so once I finished my cut I wanted to do it really controlled and I know I think I told you guys this on other videos that I'd wanted to do a really gradual bringing my calories back up and from then on I just kind of got obsessed with eating um, and not going over my calories and basically it's got to a point where all I ever think about is food and I'm in a different place now than what I was after the cut finished because basically after the cut finished at the end of October all the way to December I just wasn't giving myself enough calories still because I just didn't want to put on more weight I didn't want to look a different way to what I looked at the cut I mean I was devastated with at the end of my cut I didn't think I was anywhere near lean enough the way I wanted to be I wanted to be ripped to shreds so I didn't want to put on any more weight because I was like well this is the weight that I want this is the way I want to look all the time so I'm not going to make myself eat more and put on more weight um so from basically from october to december i was underfeeding myself still i didn't i was losing weight for a few weeks and then i maintained weight and basically the way it got to was all i could think if i was going to eat out because december for me is very much an eating out month like it's jack's birthday it's the lead up to christmas especially with uni like when you aren't at uni for Christmas you go out for Christmas a lot in December and um, so it got to the point where I'd literally overthink about how much I was eating like to a crazy amount like I remember one week it was pretty much I was eating out every other day and it got to the point where I couldn't get to sleep because all I could think about was how much food I was going to be eating and it wasn't like I was going to stop myself from eating the food because I know it's unhealthy to stop myself from eating the food and I didn't want to miss out on social events so I was going to eat the food and I was going to eat the food that I enjoyed because I know that's what you're meant to do in life but it got to a point where I was literally like crying all at night time not being able to get to sleep because I was thinking so much about food and about the food that I was going to put on and how much weight I was going to put on and it kind of carried on all the way up until Christmas when I came went back to uni after Christmas I kind of wanted to do another cut because of the weight I'd put on for Christmas and December with all the eating but I can't I can't remember I think I went on for a, a cut for like a week but then I just kind of froze it to myself being like no sorry you're gonna put on muscle like you've got to eat more calories to put on muscle which is how it is you've got to feed your body to put on muscle so I kind of framed it in my head as you got to put on muscle so you got to eat more food so I stopped myself from going on a cut but basically it just kept on going and going and I only got up to 
the right amount of calories that I was meant to be on for putting on muscle um, when I left for Easter. So what was that, March? So it took me from October to March um, to make myself eat a good amount of calories. And even then it was always the, I constantly think about food and it's still like that now. Um, and then when I came home, I, I I tend to go, not crazy, but I tend to overeat a little bit when I first come home anyway because I really struggle with the change of situation, which is kind of related to my other thing, but I really struggle with it, so I tend to overeat anyway, but when I came home, obviously, so Tanya came, you saw my best friend Tanya, she came and we had, had a week of full eating and that was stressful leading up to that. I was really stressed about it. I was like, this is going to completely blow me out of the water. I'm going to put on loads of weight. But I was like, no, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try not to worry about it. And then that happened and then Tanya left and I was like, right, okay, it's going to go back to normal now. And then lockdown happened and it just kind of didn't go back to normal and this is the bit that I kind of want to talk about so people understand that they're not alone in this because I feel like a lot of people this is happening to but they don't want to admit it and some people are kind of like making light of it being like oh I can't stop eating but really they're just eating like an extra chocolate bar a day I could not stop eating so it kind of like the time that lockdown started kind of corresponded with Easter didn't it so we had a lot of chocolate in the house and we had a lot of food in the house and basically I just didn't stop eating. <laughs> um, I, I'm trying not to make, I don't know, light of it or make too much of it, but it was a lot of food. I was constantly eating chocolate. If I saw the Easter eggs, I'd go and get an Easter egg. Like I think I ate at least a full Easter egg a day and that would be on top of other chocolate I was having. I was having bigger meals than what I was used to. Um, and yeah I just kind of kept going and kept going and obviously that has resulted in some weight gain on my part and I'm really 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 struggling with it and I think that is why I took such a big break off YouTube and if anyone follows me on Instagram I'm not I haven't posted on Instagram apart from my dissertation and the Black Lives Matter post since April um because it's gotten to the point where I'm ashamed of my body and I don't want to put it out there because I just feel so minging in myself and I know I don't want to I don't want to upset anyone here because I know I'm not the biggest person in the world I know I'm not big but to me I'm I am and I don't want to make anyone feel like they're huge because they're bigger than me. I don't I don't want anybody to compare themselves to me. It's just I wanted to tell you guys that this is how I'm feeling. And I know there's a lot of people out there who are smaller than people and they feel big and they don't feel validated in how they feel just because they're smaller than other people. And I just, I don't want anyone else to feel bad for being, feeling bad about themselves. Like if you feel bad, you feel bad. And that's kind of where I'm at at the minute. And obviously I've got Jack here and he's like Sarah you're not you're not big and I'm like I know but to me I've like like I look big when I look in the mirror I feel huge and I kind of it stems from when I put the weight on last year when I did that video about how I feel about my weight gain I'm heavier than what I was then and when I was at the end of my cut after that weight gain I looked back on pictures of myself when I was 70 kilos and I was like Phew, like you look big like you look you look big and I like, I don't want to take pictures of myself now because I'm heavier than what I was then. So I don't want it to be the kind of thing where in a few months time I look back at the, the pictures of me now and I'm like, you didn't see how big you are. Because I don't, the last time it happened, I didn't see how big I'd gotten, big, how big I'd gotten. I didn't, and like before I started with fitness, I didn't realise the shape I was because I didn't, I, I didn't used to eat good like my diet was atrocious before I learned about it still to an extent when I was a PT like my nutrition has gone mi miles and bounds since I started university it's crazy and um, so I didn't even see that I was bigger then and I had I've had people who when I look back I'm talking about it and they're like oh you weren't fat you were just bigger and like you weren't fat you just had a higher body fat percentage and I like it kind of broke my heart that I didn't see it and now I feel like I'm in that position again where I'm 
big and I'm not seeing it properly even though I do see that I'm big I just I'm worried I don't see how big I am so I don't want to come on here or go on Instagram as a fitness person and be like look at how good I look and then everybody else is thinking what is she talking about she's huge or not huge but not not lean so I just I don't feel great about myself at the minute I I'm not putting and this sounds like such a silly thing but basically I'm not getting dressed at all because all of my clothes now are crop tops or skinny tops and I can't face wearing them anymore and I can't put my jeans on without feeling huge um, because they used to be so baggy on me and now I couldn't barely fit them on and so now I'm trying to live in things like this so I don't see how big I look and also how I don't want you guys to see how big I look um, and that's I don't know it makes me sad because I feel like I've let myself down. I really wanted to control myself coming out of that last cut. Like I really wanted to do a slow and steady weight gain phase and get muscle but not make, let myself get too big. But quarantine happens and I didn't do well with it. And I know, I know from what people are telling me that that's okay. But it still kind of feels like I've let myself down a little bit. And that... I didn't want this to happen and I want to be one of those people on Instagram that has their life together <laughs> but I'm really not I don't know I think food's always been something that I've struggled with and I think now that this has happened I think it'll always be something else like something I'll always struggle with but this isn't gonna be it for me because I know this isn't normal like I know I shouldn't be think about food every single second of the day like it is literally like if I so my current thing the current way of my head is that when I wake up I don't have breakfast because I don't want the calories from breakfast I'd rather save the calories for the rest of the day so even if I'm not training like um when I'm training it's okay because I just go straight into training and that stops me feeling hungry but even when I'm not training I'll sit there feeling starving because I don't want the calories for breakfast then for lunch I have a quite a nice lunch at the minute like I'm quite happy with what I can fit into calories but when I'm eating it all I'll be thinking about is right how long do I have to wait until tea and then after food I like having chocolate but I don't want the calories from chocolate so I'm having hot chocolate which is 40 calories so I'm stopping myself from eating the chocolate and then at the minute I'm trying to force myself not to eat until like eight half eight because then it means I only have to out wait an hour for my supper um, which will then be some chocolate even though I got brought up having my tea um, or dinner depending on where you're from at about half four five o'clock and now I'm having it at about eight half eight and obviously I'm hungry in that time and I'm stopping myself from eating so I know it's not healthy like I know this isn't how it's meant to be and if you're on the other side thinking oh I do that like I stop myself from eating when I'm hungry babe this isn't how it's meant to be and I know that from being a fitness professional I know this is not how you're meant to be and how healthy eating is I know it's disordered I'm not by any means saying I have an eating disorder but I I do admit that my relationship with food probably is a little bit disordered because it's just I can't imagine this is how everyone feels like because I literally feel like I can't get anything done without thinking about food and how long I've got to wait till food um so I accept this isn't normal and I am I've been trying to get some help for it I've went to see the counsellor at uni for it and it went it went okay I mean with the way I am um and being in the fitness industry which I feel plays a huge role in this it took the counsellor a long time to understand what was happening with my head um I think because they are just because it's the uni providing it I think they're just concerned with are you making yourself throw up are you starving yourself like are you doing these damaging behaviors and if not you're probably okay whereas I was like well I'm not doing them but I'm not okay like I'm not okay like I feel crap all the time I feel 
constantly I like I'm thinking about food when I look in the mirror I feel crap I do not feel happy with how I look by any means um so it took her a long time to understand it and then I just think we both agreed that she wasn't the right person to talk to um, and that was kind of just decided really this week so now I think I'm gonna go to the doctors to try and get some help um, so I am gonna I am trying to fix it <laughs> I'm not being one of those people who's just like I've got this problem I'm not gonna deal with it though I'm just gonna complain to you guys <laughs> like I am trying to stop it and fix it um, but it's gonna be a hard hard thing to do and I kind of just wanted to let you guys know that this is happening because I'm not gonna be in tight clothes on this channel anytime soon I don't think because I just don't feel comfortable showing you guys how I look and I mean some days I look at myself and I'm like oh it's not too, it's not too bad so I don't think that it's it I don't think any of you guys would look at me and judge me and be like wow she's she's big but I know that some people will look at me and go oh she's put on weight and for me like I, I can't deal with that very well so it's baggy clothes for a bit for me <laughs> but I just wanted like to show you that not everyone has it all right through lockdown as well like it I ate and I ate and I ate through lockdown and that's just how I dealt with it I think that was the only thing that I looked forward to with lockdown because I couldn't leave the house I couldn't we self-isolated for two weeks as well because I'm we're pretty sure I had it and um, that was something I left in my catch-up we think I had coronavirus and Jack I think Jack was asymptomatic so he didn't have any of the symptoms but I had them um so we self-isolated that was that was a big thing that I missed out with catch-up so there was times where we literally weren't leaving the house at all and we don't have a garden so we, we couldn't leave the house pretty much at all apart from to go sit at a patch of grass next to a house so I think food was the only thing that I found any enjoyment from um, during this so I just want to let you know that if you have ate and ate and ate when lockdown has happened babe you're not alone like it I, I did it too and when I've looked at on Instagram and Facebook and I know people shouldn't compare on social media but I have but when I see everyone who's like lost weight because they've picked up a new hobby or they've smashed this out of the park like they've just been able to deal with it and people who have who are like oh god like I'm sick like when I walk out of lockdown I'm gonna be huge and you can see that they've not put on any weight and it just makes me feel like crap because I'm like I have put on weight and I have not dealt with this well I've ate crap I've ate a lot of it and it feels like there was nobody talking about this that it has actually happened and not in a cute way like it's happened and it, it made me feel it's made me feel like crap and I think I just wanted people to know that there are other people out there because when I was looking no one else was talking about it the food thing's not the only thing that's happening through quarantine but like I say it's to do with another thing that I, I've just I don't think it's the right now is the right time to talk about but there's it, it's made things a bit more like difficult to deal with but on the other side it's made some aspects of lockdown quite good for me but yeah that's kind of how I am and I didn't want this to sound like I was just rambling and being really down on this like I didn't want people to watch this and feel crap or feel crap about themselves or remind them of how crap they feel I just wanted to make it so that other people knew uh, what people were going through and how I was feeling essentially and like I said so you guys know if it's if it leaks into other videos so I think I'm going to leave it there because I've <laughs> rambled for like 25 minutes and um, I hope you guys understand and um, I hope I haven't made anyone feel crap I hope I haven't triggered anyone I hope I don't know I just hope this has helped someone at least um and like I say, just because if you're bigger than me does not mean that you need to feel bad about yourself. This is about the relationship I have with food, not my weight. And the relationship I have with my body, not how it actually looks to other people. Because I think it looks different to other people to how I see it. So please don't feel bad about yourself. And if you're going through something like this as well, like please 
seek help please talk to people about it i am literally always open to talk to people people who know me will know i'll talk forever about anything i'm the most open book in the world i will talk to anyone even if i don't know you so please just message me if you need someone to talk to about it i am going to try and get help and so should you because this isn't how you want to live your life like i don't want to go through the rest of my life always thinking about food the way i do and other behaviour, like so like training and stuff, I see that as a way of burn calories. I know that's not normal, I know that's not how it should be, I know we should be doing it for enjoyment and that is what I want. I don't want to have to panic about having breakfast in the morning. Um, it's just I can't help myself at the minute, so I am going to get help. But Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm rambling on again, so please let me know your thoughts on this. If you think I've been insensitive to anything, please let me know. I'm 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 happy to be educated about how I've done shit here. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone or anything like that. So please comment your thoughts. If you're brave enough to say you're going through the same thing, comment below because it might help other people. Please like if you kind of in, not enjoyed it, but like if it if you think that it helped you. The next one will be a happier happier video. I promise. I just I just wanted to get this one out of the way whilst I was you know coming coming back on YouTube and um, so yeah I shall see you in the next happier video let me know if there's anything you want to see if you want me to talk more about any of this I am happy to I'm happy to relay my experience and um, so yeah I shall see you in the next one chickpeas thank you for watching I love you a lot and you can get through this lockdown like I'm telling myself <laughs> bye